one. So this has come up a couple times and I wanted to address it and make sure that everyone knows how to simplify and compress an SVG file. I see this come up a lot when people buy SVGs off of Etsy and they're told that these SVGs will work for their Glowforge, but then they go to upload them and they're too big. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to compress the files and hopefully be able to upload them without any issue. Now I'm using Inkscape here. You can get it by just going to, I believe it's inkscape.org. Inkscape is totally free, but when you install it, you may notice that yours looks a little bit different than mine because it is a very customizable software and so you can make it look how you like, um, but it shouldn't be too different. It's more gonna be about colors and where things are. So um, just keep that in mind when you do install it. It could look slightly different. All right, so the file I've got open today that I'm gonna use as an example was provided by a uh, member in my Facebook group who was struggling with this. They said it'd be okay to use as an example. So I've imported this file into Inkscape and you do that simply by going to File, Open or File, Import and then identify the file you wanna work with. Now, once you've got the file in Inkscape, the first thing you're gonna do is come up here and go to File and clean up document. This is going to do a few things behind the scenes, but it's definitely a good kind of first step just to clean it up. Now, the next thing you're gonna do in here is you're gonna come over here to the side and you're gonna look for these three long lines, these object tabs. So you're gonna look over here. You can also go up to object and objects and that'll open the same tab. Now, once you're here, you want to expand all of these groups over here. So you know it's a group based on this little triangle. Just expand every one of those. And you can see already looking through this, there's a lot of paths on here, but not that many um, objects on our screen. And that's actually what we're gonna take a look at next. So we wanna make sure that there aren't any objects here that don't translate to something you need the Glowforge to cut. So if we click on an object and nothing lights up over here, we can delete it, we're not going to need it. So for example, we click on rectangle and you see that kind of lights up, you've got it selected. So let's keep going and see if we find that we click on any of them and nothing gets selected. So for example, I just clicked over here, G3222, nothing got selected, right? When we click on the next one, it does. This one did not select anything. So you either click on it and click on delete on your keyboard, or you can right click and you'll just look for delete and remove it. We don't need it. It could be enlarging um, the file. We don't know what that is actually doing, but if you're not seeing it, then the Glowforge app isn't going to see it and it's not gonna be useful to you. One other thing I think I forgot to mention, I always have my Inkscape set to outline mode when I start out. So to do that, you go up here to view, display mode, and outline. Yours may open up in normal mode. So it may look like this with different colors or even filled in. But if you go to view, display mode, and outline mode, this is how your Glowforge app reads it. So I like to start in here. All right, going back to our objects tab, we're just gonna keep going through and clicking on each one. Be careful that you're not clicking on these groupings because that's, you know, that's always gonna probably select something. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the individual paths or shapes. So I'm just gonna keep going and see if we spot any others that don't highlight anything when we click on them. Now, sometimes you may do this and nothing pops up. We're just checking to make sure that there's nothing enlarging the file that doesn't need to be there. So, so far, everything I'm clicking is selecting a visible item. So that's good. Let's just keep going down this path. Let's see if anything else proves to be an issue. We don't see anything getting selected there. So it looks like we can delete this one as well. All right, so we did clean up document. We went through and made sure that 
all the paths that are left on here are actually needed. Um, now you're going to go to File, Save As, and you can save it as just about anything. I'll just save this one as Test. Um, looks like I've got a test already. Let's do Test 2. Um, so we just want to save this as a new file, essentially. Whoops. And then the next step here is going to be to go to SVG Optimizer, and we're going to upload the file. So I'm going to svgoptimizer.com, and then we're just going to upload a file over here. Let's go back to that downloads folder, test two. And then you can see it shrunk it by 53% and hopefully that'll be enough. So let's download this one and see how big it is now. Now we're at 73.1, sorry, kilobytes, which is below the, the max amount of 100 kilobytes and this will import into Blowforge with no problem. So I hope you found this useful. You can see it's really just a couple steps to be able to clean up a document. And if you have any challenges or issues, just comment below. Or if you have a request for a future tutorial, comment below as well. And be sure to share this with somebody who might find it helpful. Thanks.